hello friends so welcome back to my youtube channel so in this video i will show you how you can fix the laravel error which is column not found 1054 unknown column error so i will show you how you can fix this error uh, which is a laravel error or uh, it comes it usually come when you try to uh, fetch or you try to select the query from the database or you try to fetch the data from the database either you try to fetch the data or edit or delete the data from the database table okay so i have shown you this error with the help of an example i have made a small project so in which basically what i am trying to do uh, basically i am trying to fetch the data from database so you can see my database i have a database called laravel and i have a table called items all right so i have only two columns in items table uh, first one is serial number and second one is item all right and serial number is the primary key of this table this is this point is to be noted serial number is the primary key in this table in my case all right so now comes to the error what is the error error is trying to say unknown column error 1054 unknown column error so it is saying items dot id is unknown column basically what is trying to say unknown column and what is the column name in my case it is items dot id that means items is the name of table in my case and dot id means it is trying to fetch code where her id is 24 you can see the query select all from items where her items dot id is 24 that means it is trying to fetch the data from the database where her id is 24 all right in items table id is 24 but in our case there is no such column id so that is the error trying to say ki that unknown column id which is 1054 unknown column error so basically basically what is the solution of this error you have two solutions first one is either you can make the primary key you can make the id column as primary key or you can rename the serial number as id because by default what laravel does laravel basically set id as the primary key of every table okay got my point by default laravel set id as the primary key of all the tables so in this case laravel is also trying to fetch the entry with the help of primary key and according to laravel what is the primary key primary key is id but in our case primary key is serial number so you have two solutions either one first one is you can make the id as primary key or you can rename the serial number as id okay and second one is you have to tell the laravel that in our case id is not the primary key in our case something else is primary key and you have to tell the laravel what is the primary key okay so first so first one solution is you can make the id as primary key okay and second one is you have to write a line that tells the laravel that in our case primary key is something else not id all right so how you will tell this so you have to go to items basically the tables uh, so the uh, the table uh, the name of the model of the table so i have one table items and i have created a model items.php so here i have to tell the laravel that in items table id is not the primary key in items table in our case the primary key is something else which is serial number in our case so you have to tell and how will you tell this you have to write 
protected primary key equals our case primary key is serial number so it may anything in your case in my case it is serial number basically you have to tell the compiler uh, so you have to tell the laravel what is the primary key okay so in my case the primary key for the items table is serial number so just you have to write the simple one line protected primary key protected primary key equals serial number okay so in your case it might be anything so now now laravel will search the items with the help of primary key and now the primary key will be serial number okay by default it will be id uh, but now we have write a simple code a line that tells the laravel that the primary key is serial number so now i save the file and now i try to delete or edit this item so now you can say it's working fine all right so it's working fine means the, there is no error so i will tell you again so now if i remove the line you can say the error will occurs again so now what i what i'm trying to do i, I am trying to delete the item from the table means uh, what i will do means the um, internally uh, we are trying to fetch the data from the table so now i click on delete so you can say the error comes because i have not we have not tell the laravel uh, what is the primary key and by default it will search for id and there is no such column in our table so the reason for the uh, error is related to primary key all right so if i write the line again so now it will work fine you can say if i refresh and i delete so now it's working fine okay so i think uh, you got to solve your problem and if this video helps you this video helps you to solve this problem or this error so please give a like for this video and if you are new to our youtube channel you are watching first time on our youtube channel so you may like uh, the video or share the youtube channel okay so that's it for today thanks for watching this video